my people, my crew. I'm back in another video. I got a package here we're gonna open up. This is from overseas. It's a pair of Pumas with uh, some foam that I was really interested in. They're using the BNSF foam. It's like the same foam that, um, or same company that makes the Adidas Boost foam. But it's, I've like tried the Puma ones before, like in stores, and it hasn't seemed like anything special. But these ones are like infused with another foam. This one is full length. They had like this first version they came out with. It was like three sections. Uh, I mean, it looked kind of, I mean, it was cool looking shoe, I guess, but it wasn't a full length, so it's was, it was just weird, the three sections. But this is the pair that has the full length. And uh, yeah, it's from overseas, so they put it in a bag. They love putting stuff in bags. Here's the label for you. We've got that uh, 10 and a half US size, 44 euro, 9.5 UK. Let's go ahead and let's open these up. Oh, there it is. Wow, when I'm first looking at it, it reminds me of a Cure Boost. There's the other side. Oh wow, it's so weird. It's cool though, it's definitely cool looking. Kinda has a um, Alpha Bounce look to it as well. Sorry I'm, for all the Adidas references, I'm like kind of an Adidas fan. <laughs> and yeah, if you watch my channel, you're gonna really find that out. It does have an insole in here. And really kinda squishy, like kinda like a rubbery sort of stuff. Not the same as uh, like an Ultra Boost or anything. Another Adidas reference. And then the bottom, on the inside, underneath the insole, it's just white. That little dot there. And yeah, it's a one booty upper. It has like this piece of fabric, like an inside tongue sort of thing to like guard your foot from the laces touching your foot. It's all loose in there. And yeah, it's got the Puma stripe, that famous Puma swoosh. Or I don't even know, what is that, a speed line or something? I don't know. And this totally feels different than Boost, like totally different. It's really squishy and it's really smooth. Like it really like is glossy in a way, like, like your finger just glides over that really, really well. Um, and so they like put a different kind of foam that they infused with the BNSF uh, foam pellets. You can see the bottom. It doesn't really have any breathability like on an Ultra Boost. It seems like it probably has pretty good grip. I don't know. It does peek out here down at the, the sole. And then you've got this supporting piece here. It doesn't actually go that deep. It's, it's not like a huge chunk of foam. This probably is just EVA. It just kind of like supports your heel there. You got your little Puma right there. This is really padded, this back piece right here. Looks like it'd probably be thin, but there's actually quite a bit of, of padding. I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's like, has a little bit of thickness to it. Not like crazy thick, but there is something there. And then you got taping all up the, I guess, tongue area, you would call it. You got Puma branding, black on black, black on black, and then the white. Um, yeah, and then like a prime knit sort of upper, pretty stretchy. Um, and soft, it's soft too. It's not that thick, it's a little thick, but not really that thick. And yeah, I really wanted to see this foam, just see how it is compared to Boost. It seems like it's a lot stiffer, like it's not gonna be as soft. Maybe it has more spring back, that's supposedly what it's supposed to have a spring back. I'm on the medial side though, as you can see here, they've got like that easy little <laughs> a wrap up there from like the v V1s. Uh, 350 V1s, they, they had like that shape on the inside. So Puma's got that going on there. And then they got another bigger piece of this EVA, I guess for stability, I'm sure, because this stuff maybe isn't the most stable, like spring-wise, I don't know. Who knows, maybe they'll come out with another version they won't have any of this plastic here at all. But it is better than the first version with this foam, which had the three sections. Was not into that, like I said earlier. So I was really excited when I saw these. I saw them on Twitter, and then I had to search around online, and I found a website that had them. Yeah, the Puma website didn't even have these. I don't understand it, like, buy them now. And I clicked on it, and it went and took me to the Puma site, and it didn't have this specific pair. They might be on there now, these did take a while to get to me, but yeah, so I'm gonna give these a whirl. I wanna try them out a bit, just see how they how they fit, how they feel. I'll just put it on my foot right now, just to 
you guys an idea on sizing. And, ooh, these might actually, you might even, well, they're not very wide. So, true to size is probably the best idea. But if you have a really long skinny foot, um, then half size down probably. Because I've got that much room from the toe. Um, let me put my, I'm wearing some really old Ultra Boost right now. And, yeah, the Ultra Boost size 10 and a half. A little bit less room. I did just put my foot in it and I didn't even like put my weight on it to see how the foam feels. I'm interested in that. Wow, it's not bad at all. It's not like the marshmallowy feeling of Ultra Boost, but it's definitely comfortable. Like it feels like maybe a gel pad, I guess. I don't think it's as soft as Nike React, but maybe like when you're going through your strides and you're running or walking, it feels better and nice. I don't really like a super cushiony ride when I'm running like Ultra Boost is a little bit too squishy for me it seems like this one might be better for like when I'm actually running or taking long walks or something I mean I do like my Ultra Boost for walking for sure very very comfortable I'll give these a shot and we'll see how they are definitely more firm than the Ultra Boost and still a lot of give here there's a I guess maybe this brace here is making it so that it doesn't bend as much in this area so your foot isn't doing any weird bends because like there's no torsion system like an ultra boost has there's no like support system in here to keep this flat or whatnot so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you guys a on foot view of these People, I'm back. I want to share with you guys a Bible verse before I leave. This is the Jesus Taco channel. I talk about Jesus every day. He's a major part of my life. I'm going to read to you guys from Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. This is the New Living Translation. I'm okay with any translation of the Bible. I'm okay with you studying with multiple translations of the Bible because the Bible was never written in English. It's been written into English like a hundred different times, hundreds of different times, I'm sure. Like the language is so like odd. It is the weirdest language ever. I've done lots of studies on the original languages, Hebrew, Greek, Aramaic, and their dialect is totally different. Like, their way of living, 3,000, 2,000 years ago, all that, totally different way of living. So the translations really can't capture the original language into English very well. So that's why I'm okay with multiple translations. New Living Translation, they've got like a board of trustees or like a board of people who like are constantly making updates for like when they think like, oh, it could be said better here. And so they make an update in the new Bible that they print. We'll have that new update in there. And I just think that's a good way to do it because you can always make it a little bit better and make it more modern for today's language because English language is constantly evolving. We don't talk the same way we did 30 years ago at all, like totally different. I wasn't around then, but it's totally different because People who are like old don't get our lingo, like like a little bit older than me. They, they don't really get some of the speech terms that we use until they learn it. So anyways, language is evolving. 
Let's go ahead and get to this verse. Hebrews 12, 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. So this verse is just an encouragement. Let's get after what God has called us to do. Let's go after those things that he's put in our heart, those things that he has planned for us. Rest in Christ. Know that he's going to take care of us. He's got a plan for you. He's got a plan for me. And right now, I'm just resting in Christ. I'm, I'm like waiting on him. I'm just living my life. And every day, I'm keeping my mind open to who God might have me want to talk to. I think about all my actions. Like I, I mean, obviously, I still mess up but I'm trying to focus on my actions and see how I might be able to share God's love with people around me every single day because that's what God is all about. God is about us loving each other and sharing the love of Christ with everybody. This verse is also talking about getting rid of all those things that are tearing you down, that are pulling you down, that are that are hurting you, and that sin that is tripping you up. Maybe there's a sin in your life, something that you shouldn't be doing, you know you shouldn't be doing it, and that means it's a sin if you know you shouldn't be doing it. And so maybe you need to get rid of those things. Maybe it's time now to get rid of those things and start living for God today because today is the day. Tomorrow, you know, you could always say tomorrow and then tomorrow will never come because tomorrow is always the next day. So seriously, we need to get after it. We need to be living on purpose, live for a reason. Arguments are never gonna convince anybody, people fighting and all this. So let's do it from a place of love and do it from a place of just accepting people the way they are. And you know, when they're ready to open up and they change themselves, then we can help guide them, point them in the direction of Jesus. Anyways. Love y'all. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Tell all your friends about this channel. And uh, hit that thumbs up if you haven't already to share that you like this content. And yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm off to work. I've got a few days off, but I've got tons of school to do. College started this week. And I did my first quiz. Got 100%. You know, lots of reading that I'm totally not used to. Like, lots of reading. So I'm gonna go do that now and I'll be doing it for the next couple of days because I gotta catch up. It's like, yeah, and my job is really busy. So anyways, I love you all. Make sure to catch up with me on social media and all that stuff. Talk to me if you want, I'll talk back. I just want to help out other people and show you guys God loves you. And you know, you can be a high piece into fashion and all that stuff and still be a follower of Jesus. Peace out.